A woman is fertile or able to get pregnant for six days out of each month, five days leading up to ovulation and on the day of ovulation. And everyone wants to know, well, when is my fertile window? And that's a good question because if you're trying to conceive, you need to time intercourse with this most fertile window. The time at which you ovulate is largely dependent on your cycle length. So the cycle length is how long it is from the beginning of one period to the beginning of the next. And if your cycles are 25 to 35 days on average, then chances are you're ovulating or releasing an egg that can be fertilized by sperm about mid-cycle. Now, ovulation isn't a perfect science. Some women ovulate a little bit sooner or a little bit later than the norm, but this is typically when it happens. And actually, as mentioned earlier, Pregnancy is possible if you have unprotected sex anytime during the five days leading up to ovulation because sperm can live inside a woman's reproductive system for up to five days. So step one is to find out how long your cycles are on average. And this means that you need to start tracking them. And they can vary a little bit from month to month, like one month might be 27 days long, one might be 29, or the next month even 30, and that's okay as long as it's 25 to 35 days in length and chances are you're ovulating, and that's good. Once you've figured out how long your cycles are on average, then divide that number by two. That's the most likely day of your cycle that you're ovulating, and because you can get pregnant for five days leading up to that, count backwards five days, and that's the first day of your fertile window. The last day is the day of ovulation. For example, let's say that your cycles are 27, 29, and 28 days long, respectively. So if you average all of those out, then your cycle length is about 28 days, Divide that by two and that gives you 14. So day 14 is the most likely day that you're going to ovulate. And then if you count back five days, the first day of your fertile window is day nine. So if you have unprotected sex anytime during days nine and 14, then you could definitely get pregnant. If you don't wanna think much about it, then just start having intercourse every other day starting on the day your period ends and continue with this till at least days 14 to 18 of your cycle, depending on how long your cycle is. The longer your cycle, the longer you'll want to continue with this. And if a few months go by and you're not getting pregnant, then you can start thinking more about it and tracking things. Hopefully you'll find comfort in knowing that most couples take up to six months to conceive. So if it's only been a few months, then that's okay. Keep trying. But if you've been trying for a year or more, then it's time to talk with a doctor about infertility treatment. Good luck with everything. And if you have more questions for me in the future, Please feel free to ask them on our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash intermountain moms and recommend us to your friends and family too.